Hey guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome along to the stream. It is Wednesday, the 28th of February, already two months down in the year. We're here and we're going to continue playing Recursed on our Diamond and Ruby Hunt Part 2. Welcome along. Hope you're all well. Hope you're not snowed in if you're in the UK. Um, surprised the whole country is probably ground to a halt. I don't get out of the house, so I, I wouldn't know. But yeah, the whole country is probably ground to a halt because everybody knows the UK can't deal with like anything more than a centimetre of snow. Anyway, back on to the last tapestry. And I think we identified that there were no um, paradoxes in the first area. So, they're going to be in here somewhere. I don't know how many there are, but let us start again. And see if we can't create some more paradoxes of some description. Okie dokie. We can take us through to here. That just loses that though, right? Alright, so we'll work out how to create the paradoxes here. I still don't really fully understand how we create them with the cauldrons. That's my big issue. is true. Now, Eddie actually posted something yesterday, and I translated it after the st stream, which said, A chest contains a room. An object can be carried inside or outside a safe, which I guess is a cauldron. An object is permanently lost if one leaves the chest in which one has transported it in. What's that mean? <laughs> uh, that doesn't really help. So I would lose the cauldron if I went back through here, right? So 
if I did this. I'm just going backwards and forwards over here. Oh, this is going to be frustrating. I really need, like, some sort of hint. To do it, I would need both of the chests in the same place, right? Let's leave that one for now. Downstairs, okay. So... back to itself. Oh no, this is right. Okay, so now, now I remember. I need to do this. This, jump through there. Jump through here. Jump through here. Pick up this chest. Don't need to do that, really. Put that there. Okay. Now, we had a stab at this one yesterday. And I believe I was... pretty much right. Up to a point. So. What's going on, TG? We do that first. And now we're going to take this one into here. I take this to here, take the key, and place the key, say about there. And 
Now, to get down, I need to then move this one. To there, say. Which then lets me do this. Now take this key. Oh, wait a minute, no, keep it there. <laughs> I don't think you've been in a stream since, Treasure Ghost, that's for sure. All right, jump through here, then go through to here. Now I can get the key. Okay, so we have that and we have that. Next up, let's just double check what we need again here. So we need the other key. We'll just need the block here, so we'll put the block there. Okay, so now we just need the key and the do free Watsy. Thingy my jig. Oh wait a second, have I just I may have messed up because of the position of that. Yes. Alright. So I guess the key really Alright, let's jump through here. Now we need to go to here. Bring the key over. Now with this one, I want to do this. this now I can get this one so that gets both keys there Okay, so now I'm trapped here, which I can easily remedy by doing this and this.
Okay. Alright, so let's think. I need to go back and get the block, don't I? I really should have brought the block in here with me. So to get the block, I put take this down to the bottom. Take the cauldron all the way out. Okay, now I jump back in. Now I need to swap them again. I'm sure I have probably gone about this in a very long and convoluted way. But I'm almost there now. It's still the bottom. So bad. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves a diamond. By George, we did it. Okay, there was no enchanted um, cauldrons there. So we'll go in here. Enchanted cauldron. Oh, you doofus. Okay. Oh, 
I thought I'd already done this one. Possibly not. Okay. Let's maybe just go a little bit higher. Let's stick it higher. Go a little bit higher again. Alright, so we can skim the roof. Alright, so. Hopefully. Woohoo! That's the one I'd already done. Why am I even... Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly. Another related note though, I may have just had like a serious thought. No, there's no... Maybe I can't create a paradox in this one. Paradox level. That's for sure. Two enchanted chests. Alright. This should be pretty straightforward. I think I, I understand a little bit better now how this is all working. It's not only used to blue. This one leads to orange. And if I jump through the other one, there shouldn't be anything in orange, right? Holla! Look at that. I'm getting good with these. Ooh, hold on a moment. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Well, 
That's not high enough, is it? Is no way near high. Okay. Okay. What if I now do this? This will blow my mind. If this does what I think it's about to do. Oh crap. I don't want to do that. So there's more than one chest. Oh my goodness. Oh, Punk, you hit a paradox in a paradox. I suppose you can actually get back to it here, possibly. Alright, let's have a look see what we got. Okay. Hey, I now have two keys. What's in here?
do I... I may have already messed this up. It may be too late. See, I would need to be in this room with the other with the other the other colour. Maybe. That is clever. I actually really like that. Hey, we did it. We did a thing. All right, so now we do know. Now I just got to remember how to do it again. to orange well, I take this one wasn't it orange this one leads to blue remove this one Okay, so now we've done this, we now just need to solve this intended. Easier said than done. Oh man. Come on. There we go. All right, so we have that. We now have this. Take the chest. Think about this a moment. Yeah, 
Yeah, that creates the loop. Put that in another chest, right? Gives us access. I love this soundtrack, man. I may have said that before, but I really do. I like the soundtrack. How do I take both through? I need two blocks. This will give me my two blocks, but Oh, you twat. Excuse my language. It's atrocious language.
How can I get both of these in there? Do it like this. Frustration. I think, though, finally understanding how, like, we create these thing, these paradoxes properly with the, the cauldrons, which is all good. All right, so get a block. Get a key. Throw the key on the block. Take the key out here. Let's get another key. Okay. Take this. So I'm not sure I need to take that and party. So I think we need to do it on here. So that stays there. Then we take the block into here. Still, <clears throat> excuse me. It doesn't particularly help because we do that. Sure, we can go through here. So I need to bring everything in here. But how can I bring...
But I can't return. I definitely need both blocks and keys to complete this. How can I take both blocks and keys? When all I can do is... What if this was the other way around? Very careful with this now. Alright, so... Did it here instead? Thank you. 
Oh, you turd. All right. I need to think about that one. However, I've also had a thought about this one. What if I was to do this? Oh no. loses that now, right? Oh, this game! If I took the chests, both the chests back to the other side, actually. To blue. Oh, right, so. Doesn't really do anything for us, so not to worry. All right, last attempt at this. I quite obviously I'm missing the trick. I just don't know how. I just don't know how. I'm meant to be able to get both of these into the final room. That's the bit I can't work out.
I need them both, really, in this room here. Sure, I can do that, right? But... Without a block, I can't duplicate the... Am I missing? I wanted to check there, see if I could stand on a chest. I know that you can't... Um, I did already know that you, you can't um, go through a chest that's in a wall. So, so I believe I need, I need two blocks and I need two keys. I just need both chests in here, and I just, I, I can't, just really can't see. That's my two blocks. But I need to go in there first. For this to work, I need to do this.
Well, now it unscrewed it. All right, well. It's gonna need some more thought. We have a total of four diamonds, uh, sorry, three diamonds and one ruby here. Not sure how many there are. Uh, there were five on the previous 16 levels. 16 or 20 levels? And, um, yeah, 16. So it was five over the 16 on the Ublet Conundrum. Um, yeah, the last tapestry is certainly proving a lot trickier. So we do have two there. That will take our tally to six. Do something like oh, it's that one that goes to blue, isn't it? Doesn't seem like it has one. That's how we do that one. So that'd be seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two in here, because there's a chest of eight, nine. Sure, there wasn't one in here. Thank you. 
I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the day. Thank you very much for tuning in, as always. Sorry, I inadvertently cut off YouTube there. Um, we'll be back tomorrow, continuing on with um, our Diamonds and Ruby um, quest. As always, links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. Thank you very much for tuning in. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.